Hey everyone, I realized I haven't posted um, in a while and I was about to fork the token bound iframe repo. I wanted to set up a nice iframe repo for creators and our tokens. And so like when we come and view our tokens on OpenSea, we can see them and then we can see the assets inside of them like our DNA cards and we can see what the DNA is of the creator and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fork the token bound repo uh, they give awesome instructions in here that I will be following to fork and clone the iframe repo create a .env file and copy the variables from .env.example create an a alchemy account and create an API key then add those variables in navigate to the graph um, I will not be using the graph part we're going to be skipping that and then use your custom API endpoint to fetch your NFTs metadata host your application boom and that's everything I'm going to just get started by getting it deployed tonight. It's pretty late for me. I want to get a video up, um, so we're going to try to make this quick. We're going to go ahead and uh, fork this boop. We're going to fork it into Define. And so now we should just be able to go over to Vercel and deploy, I think. Okay, it does look like we'll need to set up our own env file, so let's check out what the .env example is. And we'll try to add that to the best of our ability on a public call. Add new project. We're going to add the defined um, and we're going to call this metadata. And next.js environment variables. And so now we need to copy over all of our environment variables which are in another tab right here. So we've got our alchemy key. Uh, alchemy key polygon, we should be able to ignore next poly public provider endpoint. Next public chain ID, we yeah, we know that to be one. GB, I don't know. Am I able to modify it or not? address so you need a registry and you also need an account implementation the registry is what is used to track the account that's associated with your token and the implementation says the rules of how your token acts as a smart wallet And I believe this was originally used for the Sapiens collection. So I appreciate the work of the 6551 team for getting all this set up. We're not going to be using uh, NFTXYZ custom implementation. Okay, I think this should be good. I messed up on Alchemy, and so we'll need to fix that. Let's go ahead and deploy. Let me try to get an Alchemy key while that's going. Hope I'm able to get it without sharing a bunch of info. 
Ecco, mais ça... Hmm. Let's be honest. Let's delete some old apps and then make a new one. Edit app. Let's delete the app. Let's make a new app. How do we make a new app? Um, apps. Create a new app. Uh, delete me. I was made in public. Uh, Ethereum, Ethereum. Let's create the app. And now we should have an API key. We can copy the API key. And then we can go back over to Vercel. How are we doing the build? Alright, it's almost done. Looks like it was finished. Alright, so our iframe was published, we can continue to the dashboard. Now that we're here, we can go back over to our environment variables, and we can update our alchemy ID to our alchemy ID, our alchemy key. Now we can go back to deployments and redeploy. Redeploy. I'm going to open it first just so that we can explore what was there. So we should be able to go to the same domain. And it should work. Looks like... Okay. Yep, so this is probably because Alchemy doesn't is not configured right. So once this deployment finishes, we should be able to see it. And so my next steps are going to be to try to get this hooked up to our domain because I want this to be metadata dot creators. Are we creators dot com? I believe we are creators. Yeah, we're creators dot com. So I want us to be able to get metadata dot creators dot com. Add. And so I'll send this info off to be able to be managed and added. And then we'll be able to use this domain inside of the metadata of creators to read it to load up the iframes. There it is. All right. So now we have our iframes. We can see what's inside of them. And so now we can save this into a token and then show it on OpenSea so that when people see their creator, it'll show the number beside it. And it'll also have a button here so that they can click it and then view their creator on OpenSea. I'd like to post this video in public on Twitter and LensTube as well as YouTube for others to see how we forked it. Um, the code that we just forked is available. The licensing should be the same as theirs. Um, it looks like no. Let's check out what licensing theirs is. Oh, I don't see any licensing. They have not licensed their code in any way. But it's open source, so we have forked it. And giving them credit by shouting them out. I'll be, uh, 
contributing back, I've already contributed back actually. If you look in the docs for ERC6551 and you see the forward slash chain ID, uh, the chain ID addition was me and that was uh, the ability to support any chain. And so now if you want to support, before it was Ethereum Guerly and now we also offer, I'm sorry, it was Ethereum mainnet, now we also offer Guerly, Polygon, Mumbai, Optimism. And so if you'd like more chains like Zora, let me know and I will actually probably expand this to support Zora very soon, maybe like tomorrow. That I would love to do that actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna update to expand to Zora. Have a good night everybody.